I was in a video about the systematic destruction of money and replacing it with um, digital currency or via digital transactions. And this is happening with an acceleration of digital transactions via card and phone. So if this is happening, what are your options? Hmm? What if the prospects of a digital transaction system doesn't appeal to you? Well, you have two options. You can create your own form of exchange or you can barter. Hmm? Because the alternative is the risk of your digital balance being suspended or frozen or your locked out of your digital account. So let's deal with the concept of money first. Money is simply a medium of exchange. It is the form of exchange which has been used for the last few hundred years. Money is simply a token which can be exchanged for goods and services. Now, money as we know it was created in the West for the purpose of pricing and purchasing and as the means for obtaining an item, goods or services. And this helps to quantify the value of things and create personal wealth. But before the invention of money, bartering was widespread as the form of exchange for goods or services. Now, in a bartering system, people involved in a transaction directly exchange goods or services. No money is involved. It is simply a reciprocal exchange. So let me give you two examples. Let's say person A makes clothes and person B is a service provider. Say he designs websites. Now, person A sells his clothes for money and person B sells his services for money. But in a barter exchange, person A agrees with person B that if he designs a website for the business, he or she will exchange clothes they made for that service. Person A gets a website, person B gets clothes for him or his family. And in order for bartering to work, both parties need to have what the other party wants. And the difference between bartering and money is that there is no standard measure of value. The value is whatever you want it to be. You see, something is only worth what someone is willing to pay. Another example, someone makes jewelry or beauty products. Another person specializes in marketing or advertising. Now they could agree to exchange goods with the service provider. So instead of the jewelry maker or beauty manufacturer uh, selling their product to then buy in the services of the advertising or marketing specialist, they agree to exchange the goods for the services. So people create a direct link with each other and agree to exchange directly without the token that is money. Remember, money is simply a form of exchange but it is not the only form of exchange. And I can no better highlight the point than referring to the fact that digital transactions are replacing money as the 21st century form of exchange. Transactions are now occurring digit digitally instead of by hard cash, money, be it pounds, dollars, or euros. So for bartering, both people need to have what the other person wants. And all businesses need business services. Hmm? What a business is, it will need a combination of the following. A bookkeeper, accountant, a legal advisor, health and safety coordinator, business management specialists, people for business planning, marketing, advertising, um, promotional advisors, um, employee relations or human resources, web designer, graphic designer, interior designer. They might also need electricians, plumbers, carpenters or tradespeople. All of these services can be exchanged or interchanged through bartering. You just put your own measure of value to that particular exchange. And it really is that simple. The only reason it's not done more is because people have been conditioned to only use money as a form of exchange. But the money which people used in the um, you know, early part of this century, in the 20th century, that's now being phased out. Banks are closing. Hmm? Bank branches are closing and transactions are taking place digitally, electronically, through card or via phones. And it's built into the phones because it was always the purpose to get rid of cash, hard money, currency, and replace it with digital 
transactions. And digital transactions is just numbers moving across the screen. That's all it is, just transferring numbers from one account to the other. But whenever there is a monetary crisis, and a monetary crisis could occur through the devaluing of a currency, this happens over and over in um, South America, in, in Africa, in parts of Asia, currency gets devalued. Why is it devalued? Nobody knows. But all of a sudden, the money isn't worth as much as it was worth the day before, or the money isn't worth as much as it was worth a week before or a month ago. And so what you get is hyperinflation. And so the money which people had then becomes worthless. Mm -hmm. So bartering, which is in fact an ancient form of exchange, always reappears whenever you get hyperinflation. When money suddenly becomes devalued and is rendered nearly worthless, or when cash simply has been restricted, bartering always takes the place of money as a form of exchange. So people can barter and people should barter, especially when money is in short supply. Mm -hmm. If you don't have money, if people don't have money, people can't buy goods or services because they don't have that form of exchange in order to acquire what it is they want. But if you have goods or you are a service provider, you may be short on money. Customers may be short on money, but you can barter in order to exchange your goods for someone else's services or your services for someone else's goods. Now, the other option to bartering is simply to create an alternative form of exchange. Just as simply as someone created Bitcoin as a digital form of exchange. You see, all it takes to create a form of exchange is the perception that that form of exchange has value and will be accepted in exchange for goods and services. In Papua New Guinea, before the Europeans introduced money as the form of exchange, they used seashells in their transaction. Seashells, because it was perceived to have value. And so everybody accepted seashells as the currency. Now, this was outlawed in 1931, but the people in Papua New Guinea still use seashells in transactions to this day. You see, anything can be used as a form of exchange. You just decide what you want to give value to. And that's all it is. Before money, it was gold. Someone decided that gold was the most valuable mineral that came out of the earth. And that's all it took for people to value gold as more precious than any other mineral that comes out of the earth. And that perception of gold being more precious is constantly reinforced with gold medals being awarded in sporting events. All it takes to create a form of exchange is the perception that what you're exchanging something for has value. That's all it is. It's just a perception. And everyone has the perception that money is real. Mm -hmm. But money is simply a form of exchange. That's all it is. But everybody uses it. So everybody believes that it has value in and of itself. But they can create money out of thin air. And they do create money out of thin air. Yeah? They just tap numbers into a screen. And they've created money. And that money that's created isn't backed by anything at all. It's not backed by gold. It's not backed by silver. It isn't backed by anything. It's just created. Just like that. Thank you for watching. Please share and subscribe. More videos coming soon.